Hallelujah. I want to read to you from the book of Romans in chapter 12. Romans chapter 12. <clears throat> Are you there? I'm reading from verse 1. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service or spiritual act of worship. Be not conformed to these words, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Hallelujah. It says, I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. Present your bodies a living sacrifice. God lives in your body. Did you know that? God lives in your body. You know, a lot of times we're taught that the Holy Spirit lives in our spirits. But God lives in your body. Your body houses your spirit. God lives in your body. He dwells in your body. The Bible says, your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. He lives there. And the reason he lives there is because he wants to function there. He's not sleeping there. He wants to function in your body. God wants to function in your body. He wants to function in his tabernacle of witness. That's what your body is. It's his dwelling place. And you see, it's up to you to present your body to God so God can live there, so he can function there. God wants to do great things through us, marvelous things through us. But he cannot, he cannot function in a body that's not presented to him. He said, Present your body as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God. Acceptable. So it can be useful to God. If God says for us to present our bodies, it means we can present our bodies. And that also implies it is our responsibility to present our bodies. Because he wants to do great things. He wants to do marvelous things. God cannot show his glory in your life if your body is not presented to him. And yet he wants to. What it takes is you presenting yourself to God Letting him have the right to his temple. Because your body is his temple. He wants to function there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, the human body was not designed for the immoral life. It was designed 
to express the glory of God. It was designed so God could walk in you and do great things through you. He wants you. But you must let him live there. He says, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. There's a transformation that can take place in your life through the agency of your mind. It is being transformed by the renewing of your mind. Letting your mind be inflamed by God's word. Changing your way of thinking. Changing your way of thinking. Letting him affect you with his word. And you you experience real living. Christianity is real living. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, if that's what you want, that's what you'll get. But again, what if that's not what you want? You don't even have a right to decide differently. For example, see, if you do not use something for the right purpose, it's called an abuse or a misuse. You agree with me? If you do not use your body for the right purpose, you are abusing your body. If you do not use your tongue for the right purpose, you are abusing your tongue. You know, we talk about drug abuse. Is that right? Sexual abuse. We, we, we look at them externally in every way. But where are they used? In the human body. They all come back to the human body. It's all body abuse. Only the Bible really gives you the real name. When you make up your mind that you're going to live for Jesus Christ, he gives you the power to do it. He gives you the power to face life. He gives you the power to stand true to him. What it takes is your decision. Now that's what you're going to live for. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 